So, good morning everybody. It is Sunday morning at about uh, 7.45. I'm on my way to pick up my friend Ollie and we're going to do a nice uh, big bike and hike today it, it, to the uh, Gaston Tall uh, Valley up to the Kander Friend Glacier. We've done this hike uh, two other times, so this will be our third time doing it. And uh, it's a ton of fun. We bike as far as we can up the valley until it's too steep and uh, too difficult or whatever and we lock the bikes up and just hike all the way up to the glacier head and then uh, come back down so uh, it takes a long time it's a long hike i don't remember how long but i want to say it's all in total probably a good six hours so okay here we are we are somewhere about, I think, eight kilometers from Kandersteg. So we're actually doing a little bit more than we usually do. We're starting off a bit farther just to get warmed up. So we made a bit of a mistake, <laughs> I think it's safe to say. We uh, parked about 10 kilometers away and had to climb uh, 340 meters to get here to where we normally start. So I'm a little bit worried if we'll make it or not, but uh, it's still not too late. 10 12. So it's a bit later than normal, but I think if the weather's okay and if we really push, we can still make it. So here we go. This part will be a lot funner coming down. <laughs> Car. So, here's the update. We stopped at this uh, little restaurant slash uh, cafe, I don't know what it is, mountain uh, hotel. Actually, this is the same one we stopped at two years ago. And I'm getting a Vinash or something like that. What's it called? Vinash? Vinash. Vinash, thank you. And I know he's getting a Ravella. So we don't want to stay too long because, you know, if it's still, we have to do the hike. We just got done with probably the most of the biking part. I think there's maybe a little bit more but not so much more biking and then I think the hiking is going to be harder actually so the hard part is to me still to come I'm feeling pretty tired but I think I think we're doing good on time what time is it, it must be past 11 12 o'clock half past 11 half past 11 okay weather's still good we do have some clouds but uh, looks good Yeah, merci. So much uphill. But now it's actually flattened out a little bit. We're at the very last restaurant slash hotel, or at least coming up to it on the left. And then after that, nothing more. Ooh, uh-oh, this looks scary. Wooden bridge. Maybe I'll crash. Nope. Lots of rocks. Oh, 
Okay, we're making the decision now to lock our bikes up to the tree because uh, it's just right now it's faster to walk than it is to uh, ride the bikes. But it's a beautiful location. There's more water here than last time. Anyway, we're going to lock them up right to that tree right there. So, okay, a little update. I did something extraordinarily stupid. I forgot the key to my bike lock, so I can't lock my bike. So, what we're doing is we put the bikes way up here in the woods behind some trees and hopes nobody will see, see them and they won't get stolen. I don't know if I've ever seen this before. Ollie is actually using an iPhone to take a photo. <laughs> A yeah, beautiful view here. All right, we've made it onto the, the ledge. As you can see, we've already came pretty far. You can see the river down there. And there's a big waterfall right there. These are big mountains. So, what do we have? Three hours since we started on the bike, right? Uh, 22 kilometers. Wow, 1,000 meters already. 1,800 meters altitude. Cool. Here's a huge boulder. Can you imagine the day that that came tumbling down the mountain? Must have made a huge noise. I saw something reflecting when we were way at the bottom and now I see what it was. It was the rotor from this bike. I can't believe somebody's biked up here so far. Or at least taken their bike up here. It doesn't even appear to be locked, but I guess now, now that we're so far up here, not very many people are likely to steal anything. They found a train. Bike. Yeah, can you imagine this guy rode his bike down this? Yep, there it is. And I'm not going to do it today, but you can climb or take a rope up to the top of that big boulder. Alright, here we are at the big boulder. So. Now that we've reached this boulder, I'm feeling like we're gonna make it to the top or to the glacier head as, as intended the whole time because I don't think it's that, that much further anymore. Oh, they have a new rope, I think, from last time. That's good. The old one was totally falling apart. Hello, puppy. Okay, pretty much made it now. And now I'm totally exhausted. I don't even feel like recording anymore. <laughs> I think it's this way. But we did it. I don't know how I'm gonna get down. <laughs> I don't know why it's harder than it was last year. Maybe I'm just in worse shape than last year. But we did it, and this is a nice, um, a nice way to finish, the way you kind of come over this peak here. Let me show you. You see nothing, you see nothing. And then, wow. That is truly amazing. Yeah. So just having some lunch here at uh, 2,400 meters, right on the glacier. Pretty nice. What do you got, Ollie? Is that a ham sandwich? Bologna? Cheese. Cheese? All right. I have, of course, some kind of vegetarian pasta. Yum yum. Not really hungry, but I know I should eat something. Goodbye, glacier. Goodbye. Until next time, we'll be back.
here we go, heading down. So kind of the hardest part is over. You know, the, the continual uphill is over, but downhill can be pretty treacherous too. Whoa. Kind of steep here, very, very rocky. Wow, I can't believe my camera works. I just totally dropped it big time on these rocks. Well, the guy's bike is still here. We actually talked to him uh, maybe 20 minutes ago and he's coming down behind us. I don't see him. Ah, oh, there he is, not too far. He's a uh, German guy and I don't know why he brought his bike up so high. Maybe he'll pass by us, probably will. <laughs> he asked for some food and Ollie gave him some <laughs> food. Some nuts. <laughs> he can't ride. Eh, he could. Somebody could ride that, but somebody could, but not me. Whoa. <laughs> There we go. What's happening? Do we still have bikes? All right.
All right, high five. Good job. Uh, this again. <laughs>